Hello YouTube. Hey, let's do a flashback to the 2020 Dallas RV Super Sale and go take a look at some RVs. We don't have anything else to do. We can't get out of the house. So let's go check out some RVs. All right, so I've looked at a whole lot of, I've looked at a lot of RVs in my life. Uh, I've kind of been shy on Class A's because most of them are, well, they're just too long for where I want to go. We're going to take a look at the Jayco 29V, Jayco Precept. It does come equipped with an outside kitchen, although I'm, I'm not a big fan of outside kitchen. This one has a metal counter and a beer fridge. Propane outside. Big TV, but we're not gonna be able to look at it. Not gonna be able to see that either. Let's take a look inside. One of the advantages of the Class A is you get the additional living space in the driving compartment. This one has a king size speaker on the lift, so it also serves double duty. Put your feet up, watch your favorite show on a TV right there. Is that on a pivot? Yeah, that's on a pivot, so you can pivot it out. You're, you're not having to twist your head too far. Dinette. Got the radio on, so I might have to edit some of this out. Oh, TV. King size master. Plenty of room. No, well, I guess the CPAP machine would fit there. Big dinette. Two-way power fridge. I'm liking that. Oh, decent sized restroom. I think this one's pretty cool. Two AC units, so stay cool when it's hot. Um, that would just have to go, because that, that just doesn't look comfortable to me. The, the, the detractor for us in RV lifestyle is there's just not enough storage in here. So, yeah, we, we can make it work. We need to look at the pat the driver's side. Powered by a Ford V10, so that's that's a good thing built on that F3 chassis. Fifty five hundred generators, so plenty of power for both of those air conditioners. Okay, so we got a nice two big two big bays with a pass through. Wet station, you see? Fresh water and Waste wa fresh and wastewater in the same place. I don't like that. And that's a big, big, sufficient storage. All right, so there's quite a bit of outside storage. Fiberglass cap on the rear camera so you can see what's happening behind you. Really big power awning. That's not too bad. 29V. Let's keep looking. Let's go check out a Class C. Oh, this is a mid-entry. We're going to like that. This is by Winnebago. Mini Winnie. Bunkhouse. Oh, yes. 
that's that's a nice layout got a big u-shaped dinette lots of space for the family kick back put your feet up and watch the tv of course it's built on the e450 chassis just like miss v <laughs> got that three burner gas stove for cooking up that bacon and egg breakfast microwave how about some hot chocolate chip cookies i haven't said that in a long time two burner stainless steel sink for washing your your veggies uh gas electric so you can actually go boondocking with this without having to worry about your batteries dying now that's awkward there's a big step but a bunkhouse can actually they've got it configured to be a big closet it's only a queen size master but they have made allowance for your CPAP machine. Ooh, big shower. Look at the space. That's the mini winning. Let's go see some more stuff. All right, so now this is really cool. This is a Thor. Freedom Traveler A27 Outside TV Nice big storage there and Another storage there, I'm liking that Hydraulic self-leveling system. That is a must-have. Just another little storage. Ladder to get up on the roof. Doesn't have a rear cap, but storage for your cables. Don't know what's in there. So we have a generator. Of course, it's loud out here with that other generator going. Don't know what's in there, but nice slide. I think this one's going to be really cool. It's on the Ford V10 chassis. The awning is just not real big. That's kind of a, a downsider. Got a king size drop down bed above. Sofa. The TV is mounted right above. Now that, that would become problematic with water splashing on it. But still, you know, that's that's not bad. That's actually really cool. Three burner gas stove for that bacon and egg breakfast, baby. High point microwave. How about some hot chocolate chip cookies? Coming out of that propane fired up. Two way power refrigerator freezer by Dometic. Not too big a fan of that. Queen Master. We definitely need a bigger mattress. And then we have our restroom. Ample space in there to get your business done. And then a pantry. So the only wardrobe space you have is right here. And there is no, oh, I see. You have to flip the mattress up to bring the slide in. So you're not gonna have any storage under there. And that seems, that's kind of sad. It's like an empty box there. So, a little bit of storage there. Very little in the way of interior storage. So 
That's the Freedom Traveler. 827. Wiring issue. Speaker wires or microphone wires getting hung up. So many RVs, so little time. You spend all day climbing in and out of these RVs, but it'll 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 take you out after five or six of them. Especially when you get the end of the the fifth wheels. Let's go check out the pop-ups. Flagstaff, SE. And then we have the Western Camper. We'll start. Got lots of ground clearance there. Weighs just 1,800 pounds with air. It's got air conditioning unit. Sink, dinette, two beds, and a stove. Everything you need to camp in comfort without sleeping on the ground. And it's already wired for solar, too. So that's the Flagstaff SE. 17 or 176 SE. Dry weight is 1,800 pounds. It's only 12 feet long, folded up. That's pretty cool. But this one caught my attention. This is like a hybrid, with a teardrop and a pop-up. There you go. That's everything you need right there. Full-size bed, sound system, air conditioner right there. Little refrigerator, a furnace, and a sink. There's even a thermostat. That's pretty cool. Weighs a thousand pounds. Cost cost seven thousand dollars. Even got a story drag up on the roof. There's a A-frame. Slim Potato Head would like that one. It's a much bigger pop-up. And an even bigger pop-up. That one even has a shower and a toilet built in. See there? Now that's cool. So we're on, we're looking at the, the A-frame. There's toolbox up here, and then a bin that slides out there, and then another storage there. That's a lot of storage space for a small trailer. There's 21 FSHW. Yeah, gas, like bees, mosquitoes. Let's go see some more stuff. So we're gonna check out a smaller truck camper by Lance. This is gonna be tight. What model is this one? Oh, maybe 27052? I don't know. It's not too bad. For a small camper. Microwave. The refrigerator. It's one of those where the refrigerator right up here in the bed, though. You don't have to get out of bed to get your beer. Little flip TV right there, a dinette, and then probably a wet bath. Yep, wet bath with a cassette. The one guy special right there. Tiny. 
Let's take a look at the Adventurer Class A. Light out room controller, metal exterior, aluminum skin. Great big outside storage, check that out. Definitely put the grill in there. Looks like it's gonna be crowded. See? Three burner gas stove. <laughs> TV on the lift. It's got the bed on the lift there, which is handy. I don't care for the sofa. There's no head rest but that does convert into a bed. Adventurer. Lots of storage in here. I like that. I'm not a big fan of that though. Colors. I don't like the color. Queen Master. the 30T. Not too not too bad for what, 31 foot. Kind of like that. Let's take a look at the Winnebago Intent. Got an outside kitchen entertainment center combined. That's not a bad thing. It's a 28Y. Nice big storage. Would like to have the flam latch on there, but cameras. Forward chassis. Queen's eyes master. 
Lots of wardrobe space though. Nice big bathroom, I like that. Very interesting. Well, that brings us to the end of our visit to the Dallas RV Super Sale. We're going to head to the house. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our visit to the Dallas RV Super Sale, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across social media. If you have not already done so, I'd pre I'd I'd appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button. Following along, I've still got state parks coming your way. Y'all come back now, you hear?